Hi there, Acharya S. here. I wanted to introduce you to this cool 47-page calendar I've made. The 2010 Astrotheology calendar provides valuable and amazing information about holidays celebrated from ancient times to today that are largely based in astrotheology and nature worship. In addition to recording a number of captivating celebrations from a variety of cultures marked on various days of each month, the Astrotheology calendar features certain dates in 23 pages of accompanying explanatory text. These cultures include those of the ancient world into modern times, incorporating holidays from these calendars. This list includes both solar and lunar calendars, all adjusted to the familiar Gregorian used today. In the 2010 Astrotheology calendar, you will see that the most obvious astrotheological observances are the solar festivals, known as solstices and equinoxes, which combined make the solar cross. Other important astrotheological dates are the Celtic fire festivals, marking the peak of each season, occurring at the midway point between each solstice and equinox. Altogether, these eight dates of the solstices, equinoxes, and cross-quarter days compose the wheel of the year, or sun wheel, and are highlighted in the calendar with a useful color code for your convenience. Other featured days include various dates that reflect important developments in the field of comparative religion and mythology, discussed in sections for each month. For example, many people nowadays know that Christmas is a remake of ancient winter solstice celebrations. In the Astrotheology calendar are presented a number of other important winter solstice celebrations, such as the births of Mithra and Horus Ion, as well as that of the Japanese sun goddess Amaterasu. Also explored in this calendar are many other revelations of how pagan festivities celebrated in such places as Rome, Greece, Egypt, and the British Isles were likewise Christianized by the Catholic Church. The numerous festivals in the wandering Egyptian calendar have been affixed in the astrotheology calendar to when they would have occurred in the first year of the Common Era, specifically so we can see when they would have been celebrated during the creation of Christianity. The calendar contains information never before published in any of my books and provides a fascinating and striking view of how certain aspects of comparative religion have developed over the centuries, including and especially as concerns the deliberate appropriation and Christianization of various pagan holidays. This calendar is really a book, with its 47 pages consisting of 13 full-page images, the actual calendar, and the 23 pages of text explaining what we have put together here, covering these intriguing subjects. This calendar also has a bibliography of almost 100 sources, along with 44 citations and footnotes, very unusual for a calendar. There has never been anything like the 2010 Astrotheology calendar before. The 2010 Astrotheology calendar is a unique creation you will want to have, a one-of-a-kind handiwork for anyone curious about the roots of religious beliefs, as well as comparative religion and mythology extending back into the hoary mists of time. The 2010 Astrotheology calendar makes a great Christmas or birthday gift, serving as an exciting introduction into the rich and vibrant world of astrotheology. The 2010 Astrotheology calendar never goes out of date because the astrotheological and calendrical information about the ancient world is timeless. Find out about what happened in the ancient world on your birthday or that of your friends and family.